بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد from the pearls of the salaf is a statement of Imam al-Zuhri رحمه الله تعالى who said استكثروا من شيء لا تمسه النار قيل وما هو قال المعروف and this is in Hilyat al-Awliya in this statement which was narrated and attributed to Imam al-Zuhri rahimahullah ta'ala he said استكثروا من شيء لا تمسه النار increase in doing those things which the fire will not touch and then he was asked and what is that he replied by saying al ma'ruf meaning the good ahabbat fillah this narration shows us the importance the salaf put on ibadah on worship and the importance that they put on al-ma'ruf on everything good everything related to good and goodness and that is the sabila salaf that is the sabila salaf as-salih and for us in contemporary times because we have such a distance between us and the salaf it's imperative that we do what they did in order to rectify ourselves in our community and that was kathrat ibadah wal ma'ruf you know a lot increasing our worship and doing good this is what should distinguish ahlu sunnah from the other groups and sects is that ahlu sunnah should be primarily concerned of course with their souls and the souls of others by doing ma'ruf doing good deeds and showing the example and having the example illustrated through their actions and through what you see zahir what you see apparent from them that you should see that they are the most in the forefront of ibadah and you should see and try to emulate those characteristics the prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said in the hadith of abu sa'id al-khudri radiyallahu ta'ala anhu collected in sahih muslim من قال سمعت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول من راى منكم منكرا فليغيره بيد فان لم يستطع فبلسانه فان لم يستطع فبقلبه وذلك عدو في الايمان ابو سعيد الخدري رضي الله تعالى عنه said I heard the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say whoever sees a munkar some sinfulness then change it with his hands and if he is unable to do so then change it with his tongue speak out against it and if he is unable to do so then change it with his heart with alika adafuli man and that is the weakest form of faith letting us know habati fillah that all of those are a part of iman iman is comprised of actions of the limbs statements of the tongue and actions of the heart and all of that that makes up iman and it makes up what ibadah what we were talking about ibadah because that's how we illustrate when we do something for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala following the sabil al mu'minin which is the sabil of rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam first and foremost that we we're, we're drawing nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so when we're kind to people doing ma'ruf this is the sabil of rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam and the sabila salaf as-salih ridwan allah alayhim 
and when we pick up something harmful from the road as the Prophet ﷺ said that that's also from good that's also a part of Iman and what we do that ibadah that has to do tahrik al-qalb that the, the hardest moving that you you love someone for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you rely and tawakkal on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sincerely from your heart as well as ittimad al-Allah uh, 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 asbab, as well as doing the actions then this is all part of ibadah so, so actions, the affairs of the heart, as well as statements of the tongue are all a part of Iman. They all are comprised of Iman. And they are all from Maruf. It is all a part of good. And this is what we can benefit, just some minor benefits from the statement of Imam al-Zuhri. Rahimahullah Ta'ala And may Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala Bless us with ilman nafi wa rizqan tayyibu Wa amalan mutakabbilan And bless us to follow the sabeel al mu'mineen And bless us with ikhlas With thabat Ala sunnah al Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Wa Sallallahu Wasallam Ala Nabiya Muhammad Wa Ala Alihi Wa Sahbihi Wasallam